work. Basically modified by based on my sample codes, especially the first couple of lines. How do I load the data on the first, right? So that uh, you might you might have to specify the location on your computer, specify a default location, set a default location, right? Once you set default location, so that uh, it should be should be easy. Now, first question: Print out the summary information for weeks for a union membership only. Weeks for union membership only. Uh, by the way, second question will be weeks for non-union membership only. Right? They two really similar to each other. Weeks union membership. Weeks for non-union membership. In my e example, in my example, they are right here. Log wage for male workers only. Log wage for female workers only. Right? In your case, it will be summary information for weeks, which is WKS. Basically, replace my log wage. Replace my log wage by WKS, right, hey, weeks. In, in my example, is M, male variable equals one or zero. In your case, it's a union membership. Union membership. Uh, union membership should be right here. Union takes value zero or one, right? In my example, it's M equals to zero or one. In your case, basically replace log wage by WKS, replace M by uni, right? So that you got the corresponding you know, result. A technical detail, make sure, for example, when you type union, make sure you type all capital U, big U, big N, big N, it sounds word. better copy and paste. Uh, did I mention this to you? R is a case sensitive. In other words, little X and big X, totally different, right? So that right here, if you type later union, then computer gonna say, sorry, I cannot, we don't have the, such a variable, little union, right? Make sure you type capital uh, again. You're the better copy and paste so that uh, you don't make mistakes, right? Uh, that's question number one, number two. Number three, plot histogram for weeks. Right here, it didn't ask you to by by groups. You can directly, you know, plot a histogram for everything together, right? So basically, the command histogram. In my case, histogram log wage. In your case, in your case, weeks, right? So basically, replace the variable log wage by WKS, right? So that you got the histogram. <laughs> Very simple. Next one, number four, box plot weeks by union membership, right? Which corresponded to my command right here. In my example, box plot log wage squiggle and log wage by male, female, right? In your case, WKS working weeks by union, right? So yeah, basically, your command will be box plot uh, WKS squiggle union, right? That's the corresponding command. And uh, number five, draw a graph log wage over experience, uh, which corresponding to here. In my example, it's log wage over WKS working working weeks. For the homework, it's a uh, log wage or experience, right? So, so basically replace the second variable by uh, working experience, right? Working experience in my data, it's uh, right here, exp. Exp is short for working experience. <laughs> so the command must be log wage squiggle exp, right? Uh, so note, be sure to put the log wage at the y experience x. So make sure, you know, the y is big on x, right? Location. Number six, print out the correlation between log wage and uh, experience. In my sample codes, it's exp and uh, log wage. Huh? Uh, <laughs> in your one, basically. <laughs> log wage and the experience, right? Simply reverse the two variables. 
Uh, maybe I too nice to you. I should choose a different variable, <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this one switch to the two words foundation should be should be the same numbers, same results, right? So, <laughs> so that's the six questions. Uh, uh, <laughs> to you. So, <laughs> so look sounds easy, right? <laughs> so basically, try my simple codes and uh, replace some variable name. You should get the results, right? Uh, any questions? Uh, first, the homework. What, right. Once you finish your programming, right? For example, you call it uh, hw2.r, right? So, so at that time, click this little button, this, this magic button, <laughs> so that corresponding HTML file gonna be produced. So that just like our first homework, upload that HTML. If you want to produce a PDF, that's that's perfect. That's totally fine. But uh, HTML should be safe one, right? So if you, uh, any other questions? <laughs>